I'm still going to do. But we're on bullet train right now, and it's been a bit of a wild experience. It's been two and a half hours, and we've traversed nearly a quarter of the entirety of Japan's biggest island. That's pretty sweet. But let's see more when we get to Kyoto. Now here's a rare sight in Japan, a vending machine. You totally don't see them every 100 feet, but you take this in and these are all the things that you can have. These aren't actually real, these are models. So, put your coin in there, you have 500 yen. So, now Philly wants that one. Yeah. Down there, there's still 360. I am going for my own personal favourites. Oh no, it timed out. Nope. Did it time out? Yeah, no. that's, that's a beautiful rainbow. And you can see all the way. Ooh. Pretty rainbow. Okay, back to you. You done it? Yep. Success! Hot copy. Good. Another thing that we found in Kyoto was a place called JQ Store, which was like a, a Marks and Crafts shop, but then it just happened to have anime figures. One I actually have at home and I need to show you guys sometime. We also found these little oddities as well, including Uno, the Dragon Ball Super version. I didn't even know there was one, but like, you can have like Goku, Vegeta, Trunks in there. I don't know why Trunks is only number one. We actually got two figures. Uh, this one, which is a Dragon Ball Ad Virgin 9, which has figures from the Dragon Ball movie. So on the back it says you can have Angry Broly, Almighty Broly, uh, uh, Raditz, um, Coke Goku, and uh, Super Saiyan God Vegeta. I'm hoping for the Raditz one. So I've already opened it just a little bit and it is... Ah! Well, it's me! It's... Jacket Goku, and then this one. This is just like a like a Dragon Ball Super one, and you can get like Beerus, Whis, First Form Freezer, Goku, another Freezer, but you can also get Bingo Vegeta. They oh. kept the oh. trepidation up. Oh, there's a box. There's a box, oh. Oh. and a blue weighted stand. Quite a hefty one with that. Oh. And inside the box is <gasps> yeah. yeah! Bingo! Bingo time! Billy watched me not open the boxes fully before we recorded this, just to speed things up. Can you confirm that? Yeah, and it actually was the only one left in the shop as well. Yeah, this was the last one, and it's Bingo Vegeta. Yay! Oh, it's great. So now we're back from a long day of just walking around Kyoto. At least 30,000 steps, according to my watch. But we did a lot. We walked around Kyoto, we saw some really nice delights at night. We also saw uh, Nijo Castle, as well as walked around the Imperial Gardens, which were really quiet, like bizarrely quiet. Just eerily so. And um, then we discovered the Ninja and Samurai Museum, so we got a nice little insight as to what Samurais and Ninja were like. That was pretty fun, and we just rounded that off with a nice little slap-up dinner at Tsukiya, as well as trying to find the sweet potato, like, puff pastry thing? We looked around three 7-Elevens for that, didn't we? Yeah. Couldn't find one. We found a sweet potato donut, but yeah, the puff pastry thing, nah, not a chance with that one. And of course, the hotel that we're staying at, bizarrely has the Masako M on it, so I felt right at home at that one. Tomorrow, we're just gonna maybe check out the Gion section of Kyoto before meeting up with the Sagi again and heading down to Nara, where the uh, deer park is? Well, they're quite curious to see how that will turn out. But for now, we're just going to chill, wait for R&R &R to come out in a couple of hours, maybe, if I can stay awake for that long, and my feet aren't going to burn up because of the, all the walking we did. But anyway, hope you guys are doing well. And once again, take care, and one is glad to be of service.